Welcome to the 20th episode of Free For Full Fights. Man, it's been a while, huh? So, most of you are familiar by now, but uh, just in case, just to remind everyone, we will be having only a best of three sets, and the only one spectating this shrine, the one where my co-host, uh, Zekira, Zekira, are spectating, are going to... It's only just going to be Zekira and I just watching this, okay? So, yeah. If anyone wants to, if anyone wants to fight, just volunteer, okay? Otherwise, we'll just be calling out people. So, who wants to start? Okay, let's wait for who will volunteer. All right. Okay, looks like Guy and Jive want to play first. Uh, yeah. It, Jive. Did you want to see this? Dude? Yeah, Jive, Guy, Guy. Do you guys want to fight? Yeah, looks like they're up. We'll yeah, this is actually. Yeah, this is actually interesting because it. Because both of these players have improved by a lot. Like, they are much, so much better. And they are really... Yeah, than when we first played them. For yeah. sure. And th these are, like, two of the most active, like, players we have right now. So they're definitely part of the, our very more up-and-coming players re really getting out there. Oh, see, I, I have to thank Jai for going P1 because I'm not sure about the quality of the spectator if, uh, yeah. if it got genius in P1. <laughs> uh, okay. Someone was just loading. Oh! Wow, this is a swap up. I want to remind Oh, yeah, this is a swap What? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> for, refer for reference, Bruh. Jive is an Oli main and Guy is a Tianwo main, so yeah, I don't know what's up with this one. This is, yeah, but this is really weird. And like, uh, Guy is even using the color that Jive is using. To play. Yeah, that's a. And yeah, they're both using each other's colors practically. Oh, pretty much. Oh. <laughs> I think I think it was because because these two play a lot. Uh, they kind of uh, they kind of eventually try and uh study each other's characters to the point where they kind of want to see okay how do i manipulate this character to understand the matchup better yeah Th that's actually... I actually remember a, a time when guy was still not settled on a, like a character he, he was wanting to decide on only for one, one point yeah because that's usually this is one of the nice things about like setting up multiple characters Ooh. And Jive... Although among these two, I'm pretty sure like Oli is much easier to use than Tan. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, that was a nice. That was actually a nice bait on the grab. Finally, now back to business. Round two, fight. Yeah, like, like guy, guy, guy is like, like El Mowing in the chat. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Oh. Actually, can someone check their PFPs later? Maybe they just switched. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> Ooh, Jive is. It looks like. Yeah. Okay, I see it now. Jive is trying to wave dash. Yeah, Jive is practicing his wave dash here. And like, if you're an Oli player, you do want to practice the wave dash because like Oli is like that one character who actually benefits from a, a lot from uh from wave dashing. Tianwo also benefits surprisingly from the wave dash. Wave dash, but she doesn't need it as much considering that she has so much many other movement options. And that you, and actually, we just saw an example of why the wave dash helps Tian earlier was that she, she just ducked right under the A trap. Yeah. While dashing. Right. <laughs> so sometimes you can get you can, if I, by wave dashing as Tian, you can get a lot of uh, a lot of crouching uh, crouching hit uh, like hitbox advancements. Yeah, because so uh, one of in the international scene uh, the. One that we, the Tian that wave dashes a lot is Derpinator, and you can see in, in his defense patterns that he does use that crouching hitbox a lot. Yeah, because it's it's a low profile. It basically, you can't really touch him unless you're doing unless you're using a move that covers the that covers the ground as well. Usually, like mm, usually yeah. most five A's and most six A's in the game, they also tend to do that. They also tend to hit low profile. All right, yeah. So basically, he still uses sparing, but against uh, against uh, characters that throw projectiles, yeah, you, you it, do you do have like that extra option. Yeah, it's a neat option, and it's actually it's usually much safer than bash. Oh yeah, because bash uh, bash is actually negative and block is just hard to punish. Also, when it whiffs, it takes a while to recover. Yeah. Oh wow, palm mirrors. Okay. Okay. <laughs> actually, kind of wondering what they're really doing. Actually, I think they're just. I think they're just playing around and experimenting. Ooh. Yeah, pretty much. 
<laughs> JC Warst. I mean, <laughs> this is definitely not something new. Like, when we, we saw some pump mirrors before, it's basically the JC. So I'd like to yep. talk about, uh, like, I just, like, because I, I just saw it there, I'd just like to talk about how, just how small the hitbox to hurtbox ratio is from, uh, I mean, the hurtbox to hitbox ratio is of the 2B. Copter dog. It's like, it's uh. actually super annoying. Yeah. Where, it, where it, if you're if you're a pawn player, you would know that it's actually more difficult to use um, to use chopper in neutral against a high level player because of how slow and how small its hitbox is. Yeah, it's it's a weird one to be sure. Like I I think I sort of understand. Oh, there's a grab. Oh, no conversion though. He doesn't know the conversions. Yeah, and honestly, uh, for for anyone who might who might be interested in playing pawn, if, if you're if you're confused on what button might work in a certain situation, you always try first to be. Um, yeah. To be just kind of like is like pumps everything button, except you know it's not a low. Yeah. But it does everything else. So if you're kind of if you kind of wanna check out what what, what pump can do in a certain situation, so see if, see how many two Bs you can put in there. Yeah. Oh or actually yeah, the best starting string is always five B two B. Because it just it lets you get away with it lets you juggle stuff at least. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> wait, wait. Like, I know this is like Tekken. I, I, this is like Tekken where both players start with like up forward four. Right. <laughs> it's basically what we just saw. I can imagine it's more common in Tekken because like a lot of characters actually share the same like uh the same moves sometimes, right? Yeah. Oh. The You got a guy having that follower digger out and not being used pains me. As yeah. someone who's still practicing palm, this is painful to watch. <laughs> Although to be fair, it's usually more for like confirming with block strings, so you kind of he needed to get the, the hit in first. Oh. I also saw something. I also saw something that uh, most palm like most palm mistakes happen is that when you want to punish with an A, but you're blocking and then you want to like go and dash up. Uh, dash up 5A, you actually end up accidentally doing sheep herding. So that's another like execution barrier when it comes with this character. Yeah. It's so annoying. Yeah, because you hear, yeah, all right, you're doing it out of block. <laughs> like, it's when I, it's, it's, it's like, it's a problem that also Paprika has, but uh, just because, of, of, you know, it's charge character problems. Yeah. Oh, oh no dog? I'm surprised that they're that they aren't that aware of like how to summon dogs through like knockdowns and staggers because that's one of the more basic stuff that is pos that is sort of easier to do with Pog. Yeah, like usually two scene to dog summon would be like a common thing, but at the same time, um, from from learning from learning Pog before is like realizing like what dog uh, like what button actually summons what dog. It takes a while to learn that in muscle memory. So. Yeah. It's, also, it's I also realize Jive has been grabbing all the <laughs> Yeah, because it also requires just a lot of situational awareness. I remember, yeah. Okay, wait, sorry. So, this is one all. Is this one all or yeah. two? Yeah. yeah, I think so, because Guy won the last one. Yeah, so one more. See what they're gonna do this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing. Yeah, the thing is, both of them are actually in voice chat. They're just in the chill box. So they're oh, they're, they're they're probably doing some uh, some funny stuff in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, these guys have played a lot, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if they just do some weird stuff. There you okay, go. Now, 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 they're, 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 this is the true form. Seriously. This is the true forms. Yeah. <laughs> this is an actual match. <laughs> Oh no, he got oh, no. hit with the cross up B. It's actually funny because Guy was already standing, but somehow crouched just as uh, just as Oyanda landed. I think it happens sometimes where it's like you just you get twitchy. Ooh. Makes sense. Oh, oh my God, fair hitbox. Yeah. Also, also I feel bad because like you know I was actually because the thing is Jive has always gotten me a lot with that epilogue. One thing one of the things that I learned, especially from like Tailnik and. Jeff, and guy when I talk to them 
is that, and especially Baikal, you can like grab out of the, you can grab out, you can grab the Oleander out of the epilogue. Grab Oleander out of epilogue, like, right? do you mean? Yeah, if she's standing in the epilogue, you can grab her. Oh, oh, right. That's a that's a, that's a pretty pretty specific distance, though, right? Yeah, it's a little bit tricky, but it's like it's very useful when you get the grab, because then in the case of Tianwo, she can get a pretty long combo out of it, long enough to kill Epilogue, or she can just reposition into a hard knockdown away from Epilogues. Either way, yeah. Oh, Oops. grab! Oh, doing those cross unders. Yeah, nice. guy actually trying to. Oh. Guy Drops trying to it. take some notes here from uh, from one of our better better chance here. Okay, oh boy! Here, right? This is gonna I think be Jive fun. Want to finish this? Oh! Oh! I'm oh no! There's gonna be a lot of Fred time. Yeah, a lot of Fred time gone. I'm actually surprised that Jive went for the teleport. You'd think he'd use the, his advantage to just epilogue and sit there. Because the thing is. There's a, there are ways to challenge Epilogue, but it's hard, even harder with Fred out. Oh! Oh! Oh, just do Ash! You think Ash, Ash? Okay. Oh! The oh, no! Just yeah, one bar, I think, like, one or two more touches after this one would be the end. Oh, yeah. wow, that was a oh. combo combo. What a block! What a block! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, he saw it coming! Oh my god, that was horrifying. Okay, that but I I like that was a, that was a pretty intense round though. Yeah, Not really. Gonna lie. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh Gaijin no! Also starting to use JA in his pressure. This is like the third or fourth time that guy has been caught. Yeah, I but like it. teleport B, right? Yeah. Oh, nice catch with the jumping B. Oh, I like this. He's learning how to convert his uh, counter hit air to air converts, which is a big deal when you're getting a lot when you're trying to get damage with Tianwo. Oh wow! Right, dude. Oh, I like this pressure. I was like, su suddenly, guy is like, okay, where did you get all this execution? Level two. Level two. Stairway okay. combo. Let's go. Nope. There we go. Oh, just to keep it simple. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, he got air grab. Oh no, he tried to mash. Oh, wow. Oh no. Oh. 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 This reach. Oh, it reaches. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's three hits. It's gonna reach that far. Oh, drop. No. Flight. no. This could be. Ki this could be death. This this is dangerous. Like not yet dead, but it's gonna be very close. And they're spread out. Yeah. yeah three stars. Unless you're tail nick. Unless you're tail nick, this is gonna be really hard to get back. Just lame it out. Like Actually no, just lame it out. Oh. Yeah, and I just forgot. Like he, Jeff didn't have the life advantage, so he had to go in. <laughs> yeah, he had to go in because it's like that's twelve seconds. Like guy could just literally fly in the sky, not do anything, and he'd still win. Yeah, I just realized that, and one that's actually one of Oleander's weaknesses is that she doesn't really have like the best uh, offense in the game. Actually, one of the weaker ones, so she has a hard time opening up people. So if she doesn't have the life lead, she can she can take a, take a while before she can get it back. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, that's a fun match. Ooh. Okay, Coco. Okay, Coco and Frost, you guys can go. All right, we can see this one. Yeah, I'm, Cocoa assuming, I'm gonna assume Coco is gonna use like a velvet or something maybe here. Maybe. Coco hasn't played in a while, as well as like... But Frost has been one of the more active players between the two. So it would be interesting to see. Yeah, I actually kind of also want to see like how far has Frost gone like so far. There's a... It, it's... One thing I noticed is like while well, Frost is still learning, uh, she also still has a, like a tendency to overuse certain options. I, I know it'll take a while to really kick that habit out because even the best players actually have them, like some bad habits. But it, I, I'd actually just love to see like some of those other overused options. Listen, listen. Oh, but they're actually doing Arizona for Kofor here. Ooh, okay. Oh, but Arizona oh. is actually Coco's secondary, so yeah. Oh, I actually. Ooh. There we go. 
There we go. Three star combo. Three magic. Oh no! Called out during the dog summon. That's usually not safe. Oh no. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, I noticed a bit of lag on my end. So there's. Yeah, it's lag. It's lag. Oh. oh, nice use of digger. Did, 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 did Frost actually just do sheep herding, in, sheep herding into dog mix up? Wow. Yeah, that was actually. Oh, cross up. Okay. Oh. Frost no. trying oh. to discover these. Heart the blockables. Oh, all right. That was okay. only digger. Yeah, it's, it's a safe. Uh, it's a, digger is a good, uh, good way to just be safe. Oh, nice! People also, understanding this matchup, like how we just she's just keep dash six aing everywhere. Oh, nice mm -hmm. to be cross up. Oh. Yeah, that's over. That was a close call, though. Oh, it was. Like, I, I mean, it's actually like there's a lot of neutral. Like, well, it it looked it didn't look like neutral, but there was a lot of exchanges of turns like towards the end there. Yeah, what? And that's always one of been like process things, like. She actually has a, even when she was like still learning, she had a decent, surprisingly decent amount of like, surprisingly decently good neutral, or surprisingly good neutral, for someone who was who used to start out. So that's always been like something that just stuck with her ever since. Also, it's it's really laggy on my end. What about yours? Yeah, it's getting a bit laggy on my end. There there is a lot of stops in there. Oh. Summon all the dogs. Oh, nice! Wow, I didn't think five B would reach that far. That's actually six A. Oh, right, six A. Wow, six A is really far. Actually, Pom Pom has like a uh, Pom has like a second best six A in the game. The problem is she doesn't really get to use it. So. Yeah, <laughs> compared to because <laughs> like two B is tend to be better for charging. Yeah. Oh, jumping B. You hate to see that. Yeah, that's like a really big air normal. And the thing is, it was so low to the ground, so it's like, you don't see it coming. One thing, uh, one thing actually, like, I don't know who, uh, I don't know who else watching this knows this, but actually, like, Ar what, like Arizona's best ma matchup is actually against Pom. So, uh, when, uh, when, like, when you see, like, a high-level Pom and a high-level Ari, like, going at it, you'll see more... You'll see more Chopper, you'll see more Palm backing away and things like that because it actually gets really hard for Palm to uh, to approach like an Arizona that just waits. I've had this discussion with Coco a bit like a while ago and like if Arizona just waits, Palm cannot do anything. So <laughs> yeah, it's a really difficult matchup for, for Palm. She does, yeah, because like her only air mobility option is like float, which keeps her in the ground, which keeps her in the air and makes her a target. And air dash, which, if is predicted easily, you can just do 6A. Yep. And Kokoa switching to Paprika. I don't think I've ever seen her play Paprika. Same. And also, it's really laggy. Yeah, I saw that lag. Ooh, jumping save. This is big. Oh. Oops, missed the, missed the pickup. Oh. Ooh, cart B. Frost actually, oh. I mean, this lag. Yeah, I think it I might see. be because of a frost, uh, frost, uh, shaky internet at times. Yeah, I, I feel that too. Oh. Okay, I'm. Just, actually, I'm. I'm. It's this is really getting laggy. Yeah, it it, it 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 is getting laggy. So one thing about frost is I I noticed that she's actually favoring more hard knockdown stuff rather than just going launcher stuff lately. Yeah. Based on this match, so sh I think. She wants to start doing some of the more advanced Palm stuff because Palm really excels at doing all this hard knockdown stuff. Yeah. So I guess that's what she's starting to learn now. It's just once you get once you get the hard knockdown, Baidi just helps you do helps you do so many things. Yep. When when a Palm hard knockdowns you and especially in the corner, oh expect to get mixed like four layers. Either mixed or just get pressure just get bullied by Mama Dog. Because Mama Dog Pretty is much. especially I mean, good for like sandwich and corner situations. And Mama Dog frame traps? Oh, that's scary. It's so so annoying. Imagine having to deal with armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wow, 6 8. Oh! Coco, of course, expecting the mix. 
Oh, oh wow, tick grab drop. right after right after digger. Yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun, especially with this connection. Oh, oh no, this is especially with this connection. <laughs> Mama and Papa all together. This is gonna be. Oh fun. look at all this shit! Oh, it's oh. wow, Coco broke the grab. I can't believe it. Yeah. Oh. Hard knockdown. What's your mix? Oh, command grab. Reset? Oh, I think the connection caused the reset. Maybe. Like, I'm not sure if the command grab is dead. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Frost is. I, I, I know this Frost is running into that common palm problem where we can't hit low without biting. Yeah. Notice how, like. It's it's one it's another weakness and that and another reason why um, why Arizona is such a bad matchup is because Palm's ground uh, ground mobility is probably one of the worst in the game, so it's like your ground options are just super limited. Yeah. If and if, even, if and even her air options aren't really that great when confronting Arizona. And I, like honestly, like she does well against uh, against characters that uh, that excel in the air. So like both Chan and Oleander, she she can definitely do that. Yeah. So anyway, so who are we having next? Ten Link wants to. Uh, oh. I think it is. Link wow. And okay, this is actually interesting. Cause okay. Yeah. I mean, Tail Nick will probably win this match, but it's like Enrico has been improving a lot. Cause I fought I fought him, and he's been getting really really better. Especially his palm. His palm is much more aggressive now. Which I wish... I hope we see more in Free for Fall now. Yeah, because uh, she, uh, Enrico is one of, like mostly double meaning, so it might be affecting like how fast he's learning the palm. The but then again, palm is a hard to use, but we'll see. If anything, like next to next to, Co next to Kokoati, like the next person I'd ask for palm one. stuff would probably be Enrico. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, backs off into, uh, backs off into, chopper yeah. like this. Yeah, actually, I like this. Tailnick is actually respecting chopper, which is why he was trying to tag it. Yeah, you see, the, like those um, jump up JBs, right? Yep. See, he's just patiently waiting. He knows. Ah, oh, 3D. Oh God, that 3D. Oh no. Oh no! He got hit. This is bad. Okay, I think Enrico has Chopper a bit too close to the corner. Oh wow, what a block! Oh. JB convert. Uh, this is bad. Ooh. Was bet Enrico's gonna sheep herding out of here. Oh god, please don't. Please don't sheep herd. Please don't sheep herd. Okay, I hate oh, yeah, he just That was actually a better- that was a better option than like just sheep herding. Oh, well, I don't know. In the option that uh, the Tailnick picked, I think Sheep Herding might have actually been better. <laughs> I got kicked. You got kicked? Yeah. I mean, you don't see that coming. I mean, it's Tian with magic. Anyway, you you go on. Uh, spectate the rest of the match. Oh, you got kicked from the spectating. Okay, yeah. I, I I thought you I thought you got hit by a mix-up. <laughs> Oops. Okay, hard knockdown. For, hard knockdown there in the corner now. Oh, didn't get the didn't get the low. Oh wow! Actually, to see the to see the ash. That's uh, to be the ash. That's interesting. All right, Tailnick now out of the corner. Grabbing Nico right on the other corner instead. Oh, the, the drop though. Oh, what an air grab! Let's see. Oh no, and he wasn't able to block like that. It's, that's not a true, true string, actually. So if you get hit by 6D, um, some, like you gotta, if you get hit, hit by 6D high, you might still wanna be alert to block the low because some, it's a really tight link. So Tians will tend to drop it. Oh, what the? What was that hitbox, bruh? No. Okay, culture. Oh, what? Okay, like one hit. Oh, what? Why is the cool papa, bruh? Oh, well, never mind. We get we get that weird hitbox stuff. 
okay. I actually think, uh, I th actually think the level 2 was not needed there because, uh, like, the last hit deals a lot of damage and Tian has low life, so... I don't think that level 2 was necessary. Anyway, it's only with the first hit here. Oh, doesn't want to put Enrico in the corner, just want to keep him in screen. Yeah, Tailleg really just excels at the mid screen. Especially with like his fly mix up. Oh, for sure. Like against like, you'll notice when against better players, he'll tend to want to keep the mid screen rather than the corner. But that's not to say like his corner pressure isn't, isn't good. In fact, like it's a different level of scary. <laughs> Oh, J.A. I'm not sure if that was a combo into 2A, but what the? Oh my god, they look so fast. How, how, I, I'm pretty sure he just made that cross up on the fly. Nice 2B. And Miko not actually anti-airing. Oh no, but J.C. not early enough to hit. Wanted to move to the corner. Oh, nice. She's hurting into... Oh! I actually need to add that more into my Pommy and too. Oh, yeah, that's... Enrico got magic pixeled by the cross canter, so any chip would have done it. So that's why Tailmic just did 6D to Ash. Makes sense. But see, this is this is uh this is really like what makes it so hard to play against Tailmic is because like uh, compared to most players, actually uh, I'd say compared to all players, Tailmic just uses not just the entire screen, but also the screen above and away, so it's like... Yeah, he... He, he will keep going into places that you can't reach him. Yeah, so he, know, he knows how to, to just... He knows how to make those weird angles. And he does it yeah. so consistently. And, uh, and because of, uh, because of Tian's nature of just, you know, having mobility options, especially with magic, she can I still hit you from those so weird sad. angles while you Your can't. Especially if you're playing Arizona. Oh my god, Arizona has so many places but... where... Yeah. He, she can't hit uh, Chan. Oh, oh god, that cross up was so cross up. Yeah, that cross up was so deep. Oh my god, another one. And the thing was, oh god, this is gonna be so much damage because it's just air to air. Yeah, air to air, and I think that was a double magic combo, right? Yep. Was it? I mean... Ooh! Oh, two C is not safe. Yeah, don't do, don't do two C. They don't do two C in block strings. Actually, 5C isn't safe either, but at least you can cancel it into, like, a, a Some... bigger call. Yeah, maybe. Oh, god, the mic- Oh, that was tight. Notice yeah, how late me. that was? Which- which one? Like, the- what was that? 5C or 2C cancel? That was pretty late. But maybe it's- uh, yeah, I think that's also part of, like, how Tailnik tries to frame trap people trying to press buttons. He will intentionally like delay some of the strings so that you accidentally um, put out the bottom when you wanted the push block. Yeah. And that really, uh, and he, he intentionally capitalized on that so that you just get counter hit. Oh! How did you end up on that side? I don't know. I guess Enrico just moved forward a little bit to challenge. Oh no, Enrico, Enrico actually had an opportunity to punish uh, somewhere there, but then it wasn't able to mash A, a, oh, no. a in time. Oh god, the low. Oh no. You hate to see that low. It, it, hard it's down. six frames, but it's like you it's it's kind of hard to see it coming. Oh wow! 6A. Like What the Okay, that was a weird interaction, but oh god the 2D. Then Chalfo? <laughs> okay, just just get it as high in the screen as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Steen. Comes understanding. Steen will win. Oh god, get that was weird. Enrico also had like, uh, to be fair, I I'm not sure like how, but Enrico broke almost all of the grabs that Taylor did, even yeah. in those like weird setups. So maybe one thing could be. I would attribute that to probably Enrico ended up mashing a grab. Yeah, because yeah, because that's really one of the more basic option selects in the game. You just you use grab as like your push block button, because even if like you get whoa. Okay, what's going on? Um. Anyway, because like as I was saying, even if you get like the, if you use like your grab as like the OF as your push block button, even if you get grabbed, you'll just tech. So yeah, one of the more basic OSs in the game. Yeah, it's a very common defensive OS. Just be careful of uh, accidentally um, grabbing when you don't want to. Yeah, that's the thing you have to be careful of. 
sometimes sometimes it's like sometimes it's be safer to um put out like a B. But yeah. Yeah, or just do like my eyes. Yeah, or just do like A B. Yeah, but you don't get to tech grab, so you gotta still choose. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Crusher with the first call. Oh no, no jump forward and up. Oh. <laughs> Tail next uh, chance still a bit too slippery for Dream. Missing that JC that was supposed to cross up. Like, would you say oh. that's one of the more difficult parts of playing Chan is that sometimes she's really get way too fast for your controls? Yeah, that happens. Uh, that used to happen for me to me before, but somehow I've been able to play slowly with Tiago. Compared to like, honestly, most rushdowns in any other fighting game, I've been able to play slowly with Tiago. I think it, it also has because we have a, like you have a reference of a uh, of Chan's that I can actually play slow. So, oh, true as well. Oh. Ah, uh, you know, you know, one thing. Looking at this, one thing I'd like to see more is like. Tianwo actually using three three magic stocks in a combo because I've been practicing that. That's a, like three stop combos in Tianwo are a lot of fun. They're a bit tricky, you can get but they're, they're worth it. They just deal so much damage. Can you get three stocks com three three stock combos without like level two? Yeah. As, a bit... as long as you start with two bars and then use the first one early, right? Yep. I yep. I have I actually have a video on it where I use six stocks. Three without level two, and then three more with level two. Mm, okay. So I'd imagine, and, and like, the, like her firecrackers just deal a lot of damage, especially and like such low JD, right? So, yep. Yeah. Five JD, and then usually, to... and then usually like eighty-four damage, regardless of scaling. So yeah, that's really powerful. Oh. Oh, uh, I think Cursor actually missed, uh, missed their um, what do you call this? The, the air icicle, that's why Dream just got in. Yeah. Hm? Oh god, this is getting laggy on my end. I might get kicked out of the spectating. Oh right, you said you're not you don't have a good connection with the cursor, right? Yeah, oh god. Uh yeah, my connection also well, isn't good with Dream either. So just continue ahead with spectating. Uh well it, the match just ended, so oh, maybe 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 your connection is a bit spot in Singapore right now, sadly. Right, have our first ma next match here. Yeah, I'll just <laughs> let me just uh, set up my delay, just to be safe. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Actually, I also forgot to do that. <laughs> we have sixteen ping with each other, so so definitely it's fine on their end. It's just our, our spectating end, which is having some problems. Are you prepared for magnificence? Here, uh, is your spectating fine? Yep. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. No, now it's getting a laggy. I might. Get... <laughs> I have a feeling Rip. I'm gonna kick again. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, here. Oh, what? That backdash. I did that backdash missed, or I was just not. I like that card C missed, or I just did not watch the backdash. Continue spectating. Uh, commentating because sure. I got kicked. Okay. Sure. Here to the corner pressure, it's paprika, so just a basic jump here. A lot of ace in here. Oh no, overhead. Of course, just not blocking that one. Remember, guys, a shirt goes over your head. Just in case you're still, you're still confused why his shirt is an overhead. <laughs> I think Dream wanted the super there, just kind of forgot about it. What? That that was such a weird link. Like just the two hits of JC clan cancelled to two A. I I don't I, that, that worked. Okay. <laughs> might might be good. Might be something good to put in a combo video. And the classic round start jealousy. Five C. I'm pretty sure Dream wanted the card C there. Super to hard knockdown. Walk up, teleport B. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
That's a bit laggy. Oh. Team Tech grab. Oh, Dream doesn't know how to pick up out of the grab, but... Oh, that was such a meaty JB. Oh, anti-air 5A, really? Wait, no, that's 5B, right? Yeah, that's 5B. Oh, block those Chelsea there. Okay, into level 2. Let's see. Can Cursor keep zoning his... Ah! Supers are not affected by freeze, so that's why... Dream was just able to just soup wake up Super out of that. And right behind the icicles, too. So... <laughs> Of course, like, um, in a normal match, you wouldn't do that because mostly Velvet would be able to block that. But yeah, there's something, something to, uh, some nice info to know, especially if you're, um, Paprika or Arizona. Anyway, All right, so I guess. I wonder who's next. Is, is anyone gonna volunteer? Anyone else wanna play? Ooh, Ryu Hitsuji. Okay, this is interesting. Okay. I actually wanna see this. He, he, like, Hitsuji is also, like, I if I'm right, Kisuji has been practicing like matchup specific stuff like late at night, like secretly away from many people, and yeah. like seeking. Uh, just, he's getting a lot of these resources to try and fight certain characters, and I, I can see it like he's deviating from his usual habits just to fight certain characters. And I actually really like how he's really thinking of the game in a much higher level now. Yeah, yeah, because remember he. Yeah, I still remember when it's like he used to really get into like resets. Yeah. Not putting shirts from your legs. Okay, Cadence. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here we go with training stage. I guess it's just to make sure that. Yeah, just to make sure that the connection's stable. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, like less graphical. Uh, this is this will also actually help like people with weaker computers like uh, Hitsuji actually because his laptop isn't really the best. So yeah, he's I actually think... he's actually been using 3D stages recently apparently. Ooh. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Oh. oh what a grab! Oh no. wow, and that, that teleport mix that was... up. I absolutely hate it. That was such a low jumping B. Oh no, frame trap. Yeah, this is like one of the more annoying things to deal with when you when Oyander is pleasuring you. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! He's so oh, that was such a bad habit. I know Hitsuji usually tends to like do cart B a lot, especially after like a push block. Oh no! Ah, uh, yeah. You know you're not gonna catch me. And especially way. not any usual Oleander because once they get the life lead, they can just block and read. And the thing is, Ryu so, has been very patient. Was very patient throughout that round. So he was really just. It, it was just a matter of time for him to wait out for that one. Yeah, he's like he really, really showing why this matchup is absolutely terrible for uh, Paprika. This is definitely Paprika's worst matchup. Yeah. Because the thing is, you just need to be pa patient as the Oleander player. Oh, wow! He oh, actually wow. caught him with a jumpy, with a teleport C. Okay. Kisuji has the super here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the mix? Mix up. Actually, Come yeah. Oh! Did he? What? Did he do card C to bait the teleport? No, I'm pretty sure that was unintentional. He just wanted an overhead. But like, because Card Seed travels so fast, he just uh, dodged the entire teleport. Oh no! Nope. Teleport C, don't do that. Yeah, in this matchup, to be honest, like, you have to play really, really, really slow, unfortunately. Oh! And just another one! Wow, I think this might be over, actually. Yeah, super, 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 super! There we go! <laughs> and all it took was three Card Seeds to end this round, I cannot believe this. Oh my god. Ah yes, <laughs> Dream Come says, on. ah yes, to jump forward into getting hit by Telosy. There we go. Hitsuji making nice a huge block. adjustment now for the third round. Nice frame trap. Yo, nice conversion with the 6C counter hit. Oh no. Oh, absolute guard. Yeah. Like, something to note about like when uh, Hitsuji actually did the frame trap. That was actually an adaptation on Hitsuji's side because Earlier, Ryukusen actually mashed after uh, mashed after like sh shirt, 
So it kind of gave off the tip that um, Yukerson's response after card A is to mash a something. So by delaying that shirt, he actually he actually got the counter hit. Oh. Oh no! Oh, that's so nasty. Did I cross? Did I, I? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. But I, I would have gotten hit either way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh God, no. Oh. oh, and that was a counter adaptation by Ryukosen. So now, because Ryukosen got hit with a delayed shirt earlier, he actually decided to just block and um, get like a mash on the other end. So that's that's fighting game. Uh, that's fighting games right there. Yeah. <laughs> Although I, I I still I still hate the hate the scrambles and whatever oh, what cross up Ryukosen was doing. What the hell are these guys doing? In the I, lower yeah, level? yeah, right, right. I don't. Oh my God, what the hell? what what what, what bra. Oh, you, what? I cannot believe this. What? Okay. Just fall on the things, I guess. Just, just fall on the things, I guess. What the hell, dude? There was something like this in the last, uh, last free for fall too. It was like, <laughs> oh, tennis shoes. Hello, are you still there? Yep. I was oh, okay, just making sure. Alright. Oh. Wow. Hisuji being very patient now. And unfortunately, you do have to do this as um. Oh, I still hate that. It's so like the really meat. I would call it a meaty double jump. Why is because, it? Because, oh my. Why is it so low? Oh no! Oh god. Getting like, hit. Fair hitbox, you saw that? Yeah. Uh, oh wow, he's not punishing the 2C. Then again, he's probably scared oh, of the trap. Jesus, what? What? That low though. Oh my god. This is bad. Trap to trap again? Oh. Oh, we just wanted to finish it actually. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, he wanted to cart Oh, once again. Mm, patience here. Unfortunately, you, you, you just really cannot do like um random approaches most of the time against uh, oleander especially more seasoned oleander players who will actually just block because um he's uh paprika has a hard time breaking oh! the oleander blocks oh my god hitsuchi just baited the anti air that was great oh oh the overhead oh no oh no Oh, what? That was a drop. Oh, that was Maybe a... it wasn't. I don't even know. I think that was just like hit Ryu just baiting stuff. Oh, cross counter. Nice cross counter. Oh no. That was a trade. That was so. This was such an obvious jump in. I was surprised he actually hit the button there. Oh. What? Wow, Hitsuchi actually blocking that. Oh, oh no. Hard B's not safe. Ah, uh, this is death. Oh no, he dropped uh, it! Oh no, 5C! Oh, oh. No. oh god! The nice, there we go, finally see that command grab. There's one meter to work uh, two meters to work with. Oh is he gonna is he gonna do max? I don't is he gonna try for a level two here? It's not gonna kill yet. No, he's oh, not. Oh he's gonna hard knock down. What's my mix? Oh my oh, god! Dash to avoid the cart. You rarely see it, but when it's done well, it really hurts. It really hurts, and it's so painful, actually, because I believe I don't remember. It's eight frames of invulnerability on startup. Yeah, but let me just check. Okay, um, F D, cards uh, tap card C. It's active for five frames, so a backdash can actually involve the entire duration of card C. That's so annoying. Oh my god. Oh. All right, who we got next? You got a lot of poems. Okay, Lucas wants to play. Ooh. All right, who wants to play Lucas? Oh, Cadence, Cadence Lucas, Lucas, do you guys want to play? Uh, Cadence, Cadence went first, and Curse already played. So, yeah, I would, I would rather that Cadence and Lucas play. Yeah. Cadence and Lucas step forward towards the shrine. All right, the, uh, Dreams has have... buffed the tap. Like, I agree. Yeah. The thing I is, I even we... play the character, but I agree. Yeah. The thing is, we haven't seen these characters play in a while. You guys have seen these people, these players play in a while, so it'll be interesting to see.
I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if Lucas is still in the character crisis. Mm, we'll see. Because <laughs> I can't find like what character he wants to play. Yeah, Although I think he's been settling more in Oleander lately. I'm not sure. Probably. The thing is, he's like he's really a Parasol main and like Skullgirl, so he's oh. been, he's been looking for someone that's similar to Parasol, especially in terms of like being a charge, you know, having charge, uh, spe- charge projectiles. Oh, there's nothing really like Parasol in this game, so yeah. it's gonna be hard. Oh, damn! Wow. Oh. Wow, I'm... this is actually... I'm actually not sure if that's safe, like 5 scenes or like 15 to Icicles, I'm not sure that's safe. It's usually not, but... Oh! And if you want it to be safe, if you really want it to be safe, you really need to be at like max distance. Because most people yeah. can't punish it at that range. Yep. Like, I, I know like Velvet really wants like magic before she does some weird things because the magic is what enables her to get away with a lot. Oh, wow. Also, Locked, also you no you want to frame trap with like the C projectile because that comes out the fastest I think. Either C is it or do I am I getting the opposite wrong? I think it's the opposite. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Right, just a low. Yeah, Lucas just needs to be patient. Just throw out the projectiles because he has several already. I don't like the uses of these snowflakes right here. Yeah, I think he's, uh, he's uh, he, there's no reason to use like the air project. Oh, he, oh! I just realized he's trying to bait the teleport. See, that's why he's been throwing those uh, those upward icicles. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's just it's not been working out because Cadence has been patient. He was very very patient and he was rewarded for that. Okay, Bread says, yeah, it's the opposite. C is the one that uh, takes the longest to charge. Okay. Oh, oh no! Oh! I'm gonna get out. Oh, oh there wow, we go. Punished. Now, oh, now no, we're punished. Far. Oh no. Yeah, Velvet has a lot of push be- pushback on uh, some of her normals. So then... Wow. That... Oh, he tried, he tried the fancy combo. He was doing the tiger and stuff. Oh! There we go! Oh, drops it! Gets hit with the low! Ooh. Oh, DP! Right in the corner, this might be a good time to level 2. Yeah, there we go! There we go! Oh no, he tried to do Bread's combo, but he... The thing is, Bread uses... Bread! Yeah, <laughs> there's also the fact that Bread uses more... Has, you have to use much more wind than that if you want to get the height right. Just level one. Oh, oh dropped oh. it. Oh, this is super bad. Oh, what? Why did why did he forward dash? I think that was a, a missing. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh god. Like that forward dash from Lucas. I think that was a that was a drop uh drop DB. eruption B. Yeah. Oh. Wow, six A. Oh, nice punish on the overhead. There we go. Oh, Man, that's too far. Yeah, too just far a little bit corner. higher. Oh. It just shatters you, okay? Lucas, oh. you're velvet. Yeah, you, you should should be ashamed of using your meter. Yeah, you. Yeah, velvet gains meter really fast. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I, think I just really wanted to do that. He's satisfied. <laughs> Oh! DP to the corner! What? Oh. Eruption into eruption, okay. Ah, oh, that was frustrating. Oh, you, wow. You could get it. That was a very easy pickup into 2C. Whoa. Oh no! Oh. 2C is no, always. 5C the... doesn't hit crouchers. 2C is always the better option at that rate. It pro- it's, 2C is probably not safe, but it's like at least it connects. Yeah, like 2C is usually better in block strings, but you're forced to uh, you're forced to press something into it. So it's like um, you have to follow it up with something. And if you if you get the confirm, actually 2C actually cancels with the 5C. So um, we got a foreigner like not literally. Oh, sorry, we're having an event. Arthur, can you please stop? Get out. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, we're back. There's this, right. still this, these, these palm. What, what, what is going on? <laughs> huh. Wait, who won that first one? It was Cadence, right? Okay. Yep. I just lost track. Um, what that was. Okay. After this, I think we can do one more set question. Unless, unless they go like three we'll, timeouts. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Snuggles, <laughs> get in line. Round one. Fight. Oh, ho, ho, ho. just dash to V. You don't see that from Velvet much. Yeah, and that was a nice use. That was a nice use of slide too. Oh. Okay, doing these uh, doing these projectile walls. Okay. I do like the no TK magic. icicles. It's an interesting way to control space. Ooh. Oh, you. Oh, if you're like zoning with Velvet, that is actually. Oh. Adds so much to it. It does. Favorite? Like even the best. I oh no. Oh, this is bad. Like, even the even the better rushdown characters have problems getting in, in Velvet once she can really smartly use TK icicles. Yeah. Oh. There we go. So level two. Oh, oh no! no. Try to TK. Lucas is really practicing these hard combos. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually he'll get there, but for now, yeah. Oh, nice use of one D. I mean, I mean, this is the place to practice your the stuff you wouldn't normally do in tournaments. So. Yeah. Round two. That is actually a really clean game from Lucas. Let's see here. Oh, nice two A. Oh. I just stared down. Oh, Lucas blocking the the uh, the cross ups. Oh, wow, nice mash from Lucas. Oh, unfortunately, Kidden's hat got the hit. This is gonna be. Oh, drops it though. Gets the grab. Ah, uh, this isn't, this isn't gonna be a lot of damage, but drops it. Oh no. Ah, uh, it's plus two, but you don't want to dash. Yeah, it's plus two, but that, that sometimes that's not enough to do whatever you want to do. Careful. Yeah, if you, you usually want just want to press a button rather than dashing. The plus isn't enough for you to dash. That's the thing. It's over now. Okay, so just one one for, one one for this side. Well, to be honest, like if you actually dash, can um, get the fight. But like, um, you're still just plus two, so you, you shouldn't overestimate like the advantage that you have after it. Yeah. Oh, nice! Getting rid of the cinnamon roll. Oh, oh, frame trapped. Oh, game is missing his uh missing his short tops here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he missed the whiff though. Yeah, Lucas. Lucas really needs to be shame more shame a lot more shame. There we go. There we go, level two. He's been sitting at three stocks for su for such a long time. It's right? Three stocks, three meter. Yeah. Oh, finally. Don't be over as a velvet. Don't be afraid to just throw out your supers, because the first off, the chill already gives you a turn. Second, you gain a lot of magic. See, look, look, Lucas is almost back to level two again. Actually, if Lucas didn't drop that, you would have taken the game after. Yeah. And he's so like he, Lucas is also fortunate. Cadence isn't uh, Cadence doesn't have like a, the punishment oh. up front, and that is going that to be Lucas' game. Well. So, other other than um uh, other than the using supers more, you should also like not be ashamed of using cross counter as velvet because actually I would argue that um, velvet having fast meter gain is more attributed to like. Then wanting to add more defensive options to Velvet rather yeah. than it being used for supers. Yeah, true. Because it's like it allows her to do cross up cross counters more often. Like Velvet already has a lack of defensive options. It's like she only has um she only has like eruption D, which to be fair is plus two, but it also has a really, really low hitbox, so it's easily jumped over. Yeah, there are many ways to bait to bait like the eruption D.
Actually, a funny thing is, you can bait Eruption D with a stomp, since stomp usually is high crush. Uh, low crush. Maybe, I need to check that. That might be a really specific timing. I know, I know people have done like stuff like with, with Arizona 6B, but you know. <laughs> oh, got hit with a cart A. Not a lot of damage, but gets the corner at least. Grab. Grab. Ooh. Oh, and especially like uh, since uh, Lucas is fighting a Paprika. See, level 2 already. <laughs> I know he wanted to get like the... I know Cadence wanted to get like the hard knockdown, but it was like... It's a bit irksome to use like level 1 from a crab of all things. Yeah, I'm not sure like Cadence doesn't really have like um, uh, restand setups like he used to do. So he just does like the longest combo whatever he gets. Yeah. Oh! Oh, short hop! Yeah, you can yeah. block with one short hopping. Also, yeah, that that was really, that was really sad to see like that short hop while being frozen. It's like you're, you're just, you're just a setting target. Oh Open no! Target. Unfortunately, Lucas got frame trapped though. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, just blocking. He knew, he knew. He was waiting. <laughs> there we go. Pick up. Oh, missed the PK Icicle again. Then again, that is a really hard combo. Probably one of the hardest combos in the game. So I can't blame people for dropping it. Yeah. Very... Usually it takes... It's just... Usually high level players who can take it who can do it consistently, but even they drop it. Yeah. That's why you see not even uh not even like K9 even goes for it all the time. Yeah. Because it, it the 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 the, ra the You lose so much advantage from dropping it. Ooh. Lucas can level two here. Oh no! He almost got the combo. I don't know why he's sitting on these stocks. Well, Okay, I can sort of imagine why he'd want to sit under those stocks. No! Ah, yeah. uh, I'm not sure Cadence actually knows the combo out of basket. Oh, uh, we'll just get slapped. Okay. <laughs> Lucas, Lucas was so lucky that Cadence wanted to do car, uh, teleport C. <laughs> yeah. That was the only reason why he won the round. Huh? Oh, something's weird. I think I think they just wanted to watch the idol animations to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh Right? Oh look at that HP. Oh God. Oh Half-Life. Lucas matched DP, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he <coughs> did. Yeah. <laughs> What's the mix? He's baiting for the DP! Ice! God. Oh, come on, grab! That's so painful. Oh, perfect. You know how I said earlier that. that there are ways to bait the DP? Yeah, that teleport V was one of them. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of risky, but that's still one way to really call it out. Okay, so I'm uh, gonna time check. It's actually like 58. So. Yeah, we want to. Actually, do? I think at that rate. Guys, we're going to be going to the salt mines now. Unfortunately, we don't have any more time. So, let's go to the salt mines. All right. I yeah, sure. I, no, no, no. I want to play Palm. Okay, we're gonna play Palm. How many people do we have here? We have a lot, actually. Yeah, this if is gonna. The bear is gonna be a fun. Is gonna be fun to deal with. Okay, suddenly, if, if there's gonna be this many people, I kind of don't want to play uh, Palm suddenly. <laughs> 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 Slat mine, slat mine. It, it'll take like only 20 minutes, especially if the bear eats everyone fast. So, <laughs> Coco, uh, the bear salt mines is usually 15 minutes. You, you'll be fine. Let's just get, let's get this over with. Yeah, uh, the be sooner, as hungry as the a so predator. <laughs> yeah, the sooner we get this done, the better. So, let's go. There go Om Nom. Is Gaijin here? Oh, he's still fighting. Oh, they're still fighting. There's six people fighting. 
Let me just... There's this one guy here, like, with a name, with a really weird name that makes me think they're from the Philippines, but I don't know. Finish our matches. Slack mines. Salt mines real soon. Am I getting, am I getting frame skips again? Give me a sec. We'll just fix the stream while we're still waiting. Here we go. He's just here, Nick Jive and uh, Yuka are still playing. I guess, or do we want we want to wait also, for them or? Yeah, I think let, let's wait for them a little bit. Yeah, let's wait for let's wait for like a few minutes. So, All right. Let's give them about like uh, three minutes. What a great training move. With. What the heck? Why is your ping so high with me? You're like five hundred. Okay, now what? Stay. Hold on, it, it's it's weird. <laughs> You're like 270. I think uh, there's, there's this weird state in the game where if um, if you suddenly fight, like if someone else like gets into a match because the connection gets deprioritized, their ping spikes up because you're not playing with them. Okay, now it's getting better now. Oh, okay, yeah. I think All it will right. get better once I get out of training room, to be honest. Are they up now? All right, I see, I see Ryu. Yeah, okay, they're both here. So let's go. Starting? Yep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Is the keyboard working? Okay. okay. Hey, this is. I've never seen like a salt mine with so many people. I'm just scared. Oh, what the? No side is fake. Oh, never mind. Oh, god damn it. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Like, it does all sides. It does it all sides. You can't blame me for getting hit by that. <laughs> it's like, this is like, uh, Sage Apps, will it mix? Or where did you get mixed? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fight me. Let's go. And jump. There we go. I know there's there's no more stick ASMR. Are you like, <clears throat> do you have a noise canceler now? No, I'm playing on my hitbox right now. Okay, because I can I couldn't hear your buttons when I usually can. So, oh, I accidentally threw a diamond. <sighs> okay, here we go. There's a wall. Go on, jump. There we go. Level two. two. Less than okay. Okay, now I can hear your buttons. <laughs> That's much more familiar. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, summoner. Fuck. God damn it. Uh, 
How many damage already? It's so annoying. Hey Ryu, thanks for the, thanks for opening that chest. <laughs> was it was it a purple chest? No, it was like just a cheap chest. Oh, okay, but still, yeah, you get to open it for free. Ah, shit. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I win or lose. The predators, come on, dude. Yeah, I, I think I, I walked in the wrong direction. Uh, why is there a lack of predators? This is not good. Oh shit! Yeah, he's got me. Oh, well. doesn't matter. Finally, now back to business. <laughs> GGs. Yeah, got more assault. Ooh, jackpot. Immediately, did you pun we punish me? What the heck, dude? No more games. There. Really? Come on, jump, jump. That's the third summoner in a row. I cannot believe this. Seven soon. That's the fifth, fourth summon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, just in time. We got the level eight. Level seven, actually, but. Ah, uh, these jump cross up snakes. I walked into a wolf. Are you kidding me? Oh well, at least it's a wolf. Hey, level wow. eight already. Level, yeah. Oh, this isn't fun. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Oh, thank fuck. Why are there so many summoners? Ah, the combos are starting. Seriously? Oh no. Arizona AI. No, 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 please. Arizona AI is so powerful, man. It's actually really hard to fight. So many predators, I guess, because there's so many people in here. Oh, thank God. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Don't make me. No! Just as I finish fighting Arizona, I fight Velvet. There's two bears sleeping here. I might as well bomb one of them. Oh, level nine. Don't tell me you're a summoner too! Oh my god! No, stay away from me, bear! Fuck! Wow, we're, it's still three minutes remaining, but like... Are you seriously? I, I'm wasting so much dynamite because these things keep dodging. God, thank fuck I know how to do a three-stop combos. We can jump on reactions! Oh, hell no. I'm out of here. What? How come it went to Hitsuji? I was the one who threw the dynamite. What the hell? Come on, guys, you can get to level 10. There oh, we go. God. Huh? I guess everyone's gonna start dying now. Oh, it missed. Okay, is this a snake? Is this a snake? Calm down. Snake. 
Did you? Oh my god. The predator has me cornered in a river. No, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone. God damn it. Ah, well, it's a freak AI. We can exploit this, we exploit this. Oh my god, grab. I can do this. Oh! Oh, dynamite here, right? No, someone took dynamite I'm supposed to get. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Oh, Cursor died. <coughs> Still got one minute left, bruh. Just gotta be back. Just gotta heal. Just gotta heal. Just gotta find a way to heal. Bear! I don't wanna move. I don't wanna move. Oh my god. Fine. Right I'm now. gonna chill. I'm gonna chill for one minute. I love Red has like one HP. He has to find health right now. I'm just chilling for one minute. Ah, why do you have the most salt? Oh wait, no, no, no. Wait, oh no, DD's the bear. No, this hurt. No, this sucks. This is bullshit. Wait, does he have 4,000? Oh, fuck the bear. Yeah, careful of things spawning behind you. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's no more resources because the, the maps aren't reloading. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ah! Wait, who's the, who's the, who's the most likely bear? I'm dead. And Three. I can't get back. Oh, right. You just missed the timing. So you died to the bear, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Dream. Let's go. Oh, uh, Coco melted. This is melting. Oh. I had the low dynamite run, so. Gaijin Lord. <laughs> Oof, rip Gaijin. I, I like... almost dynamited him in the same room I did last time. <laughs> okay. I'm still healthy, but I'm running out of crystals to mine here. Not a single one in this room. Okay. Oh, wow. Who else is left? So we've got Enrico, we've got Frost, Cadence, and Judd. Cadence just died. Yeah. Oof. Oh yeah, and Tailnick, and Gaijin, and then you. Alright. Okay. 
Bear Middle East. Okay. Got it. Still pretty healthy, actually. Like, we're not... It'll both be to our disadvantage if we keep stealing. Come on, come on. I'm gonna be hanging on again like last time. Bear Northeast. Okay, this, this bear has been stuck in the east for a while. I'm gonna go to the middle room. Oh, Frost died. Assuming she's oh, okay, there's one there. I'm assuming Dream went southwards because it's not here, so yeah, okay, we're safe. Southwest, okay. In the completely opposite room. Come on, I'm already 50%. This is not good. Not a single chest spawning. Someone here, nope. No way, dude. Oh, guy is dead. We're in southwest. Big one. Oh my god, why do the big ones never have any health? I'm gonna melt. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One. Oh, there's two. In here, nope. Because there's only few few ungulates left. Let's go! 60%! 70%! 80%! Yes! One, 
there should be at least two spawning. Oh, Tailnick's dead. Oof, rip Tailnick. So just me and Enrico left. <laughs> Although, like, Dream is running out of life soon. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He almost got you? No, 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 like, oh my god, she... Oh, Enrico! Sorry, Enrico, you went the wrong way! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> we were in the same room, we were just getting out, and then we heard... Oh my god! No, he followed me! What?! SMH my no, head! No, he followed me! I thought he followed Oh my god! No oh my god! SMH my SMH my head trying to use Enrico as a shield. <laughs> uh, uh, I thought he followed Enrico, god damn it! Uh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. Oh, never mind, you're dead! I think. Wait, no, never mind, I dropped my combo. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Yes, you did. Ah! <laughs> you got Oh my god. You got dream? Yeah, but he wasn't low life though and I was sitting at like 70%. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone for joining this episode of Free for Full Fight. I'll try to set up, I might try to set up another one next week. I'm not sure yet. Either way, if there is, I'll let you guys know in the server. So yeah, anyone who's watching this and, you, and if you haven't joined the server while watching this, be sure to join the server. The link will be in the description below. In the, yeah, the link will be in the description. Uh, oh, the YouTube description, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, as for that announcement, just need to wait for when next, the next fall will be announced. Still planning it, uh, but no concrete date so far. Just watch out for the announcement channels for that one. So, yeah. Also, there are some fights where I wasn't able to catch. So, if you want the, what's this? The upload of the, the VOD will also be on the Fauna's official Twitch, uh, Twitch channel, which will be in the description below as well. So... Yeah, be sure to check it out if you want. Especially since I'm not the one who's streaming. Alright, so I think that's it. Yeah, so with that, uh, bye everyone. And thanks for joining for this episode yeah, of Fauna. Yeah, thanks everyone for joining.